you can get a free copy of pop file by going to http pop file sourceforge.net or if you got this video from the professor's cd there is a copy already included install by extracting the zip file double clicking on setup exe you suggested default settings when it gets to the bucket page, choose two buckets. Pop file calls the files it is going to sort emails into. Buckets. You only need two, the in and spam buckets. You can delete the others shown by clicking the delete buttons. Some people train pop file to sort into many different buckets, such as family, business, friends, and so on, but we are using pop file to sort spam from non spam. So start with the two buckets. You can add more later if you want to take the time to train more later. Continue installing. When it finishes, it will put a little yellow octopus in your taskbar, which you can click on to get to the main pop file control page. Now you have to set it up. Pop file will get your email and sort it before your email client gets it, so your email client has to be told to ask for mail from pop file not your email server. To do that go to the server page in the account setup of your email client. Thunderbird if you installed the suggested email client. Copy the incoming mail, pop3, server address, and paste it in front of the username listed. Put a colon between the old username and the just added address, so if it previously set user as steve22, and the pop3 server was mail.globalserver.com now it says user as mail.globalserver.com colon steve22. Then put pop files address in the pop3 server blank, type 127.0.0.1 in place of the old server address. Now when you say check mail. Your email client calls for mail at address 127.0.0.1 which is pop file all, and pop file calls to mail.globalserver.com for mail for steve22. Click OK and pop file is set up to get your mail. It will tag your mail and send it onto your regular email client which will see the tag and sort the mail into whatever folders you have told it to do, so that's what you have to do next. Tell your email client what to do with the tagged emails. But first you can turn off visible tags it puts in the subject line. Go to buckets page of pop file and unclick subject header modification. Make sure X text classification header remains selected. Now you go to your email client and set it up to deal with the X text classification line. That pop file will now add to all emails, spam, inbox unclassified. In Thunderbird, make sure you have your mail folders set up the way you want. Inbox, spam, deleted, junk, personal, business whatever. Then select tools slash message filters click new, fill in the filter name with one of your pop file buckets, inbox, or spam.